important part of solutions in chemistry are electrolytes. Now, electrolytes are ionic compounds that are dissolved in water. Ionic compounds such as strong acids, like hydrochloric acid, or strong bases, or ionic salts, which are uh, salts with metal and a non-metal, like NaCl. All right, now that these ions are dissolved in solution, that means that there's positively charged cations and negatively charged ions just floating around in the water. Now, that means that if you put an electrical current through, then those ions will conduct the electricity. Here's a demonstration. One of the most common strong acids used is HCl, or hydrochloric acid. So, we can test um, how well the ions, or how many ions, are in solution by simply putting a light bulb in, running an electric current through it. Very bright, right? All right. H2O by itself, just as distilled or deionized water, does not contain any electrolytes. It just contains H2O molecules, so it does not conduct electricity. Absurd. Nothing! Now that we've seen how these soluble compounds conduct electricity in water, we must also think about the electrolytes inside of our bodies. Now, of course, You've heard all of the Gatorade commercials and how it's important to replenish the electrolytes lost during a workout. You know, because you're sweating out and the sweat is all salty, aka metal ionic compounds. So, it's important to replace those electrolytes that you lose. So which one is better? Does Gatorade have more electrolytes or does Powerade? As you can clearly see, Powerade is brighter than Gatorade, meaning that Powerade has more ions in it than Gatorade does. Now you know that Powerade is better at replacing your lost electrolytes during exercise. Thank you for watching!